Hi, it's Ursula from Ursula-Smith.com and today I'm just doing a quick uh, experiment. So I bought this Yubo paper from Amazon and I've tried this with regular Yupo paper, um, cutting this on the silhouette. I actually have the Curio, that's why you can see this base here. And so I'm trying it with this brand from Amazon just because it's quicker and easier to order. Um, I did notice though it's a different size. The regular Yupo paper will come all the way and fill the entire uh, platform, but this is just shy width-wise and um, height-wise just to make sure that it's secure because it's kind of a slick um, paper. I use the blue painter's tape to hold it down. And now I'm gonna show you, if you can see, I don't know if this is gonna work, but we'll try. Um, I have the settings for Yupo paper and I use the CB09 um, blade rather than the silhouette blade, but you can see my uh, settings there, speed of three fourths of 16. I do two passes. So I do a lighter force and two passes and I'm using all six platforms. So I'm gonna load this up, let it go and I will be back with the results. Okay, I'm back. I started cutting on this um, SAA Yupo paper and it seems like it's actually a lot thinner than the regular Yupo. And so the settings that I had before were too deep. So I'm actually going to change it. Sorry, I thought I had this already set up. So I created a new one and I'm actually going down in force. So I'm gonna only do like the force around 13. I'm still gonna do the two passes um, and we'll see how that goes and I will be back when it's done. So I just click send and it's starting to cut and this is gonna take a while so when it's done I will be back. Hi, I'm back and I just wanted to let you know where I ended up with the settings. Uh, this paper is much thinner than the regular Yupo paper and so I ended up lowering the force to nine. I still did a double cut but I'm thinking you probably didn't don't even need to do that so um, I would start with the on a, on a test piece of paper if you're going to use this I'd start with the setting of nine for force and just do a single pass and see how that works for you and I will be back when it's finished cutting thanks and I'm back so you can see I started to pull the top up. Um, there does look like a lot of pulls here and I do think that the top part was where I started and I had it just the force set too high. Um, the bottom part I still think I did not need to do a double cut. This paper is very very thin and so I think just a single cut would have been fine but you can see how nice um, and clean the cuts are. So the reason I started trying Yupo paper was I'm having trouble buying the stone paper that I used in the past for cutouts. Um, I still like the stone paper better because I feel like it holds on to ink and dye um, material a lot easier than the Yupo paper which is a little more plasticky. But if you're using them for stencils or you know, trying to do cutouts or stencils, uh, the Yupo paper does a great job of cutting super detailed cuts. So anyway, thanks for joining me. Hope you give it a try. See you next time. Hi, I'm back. And so I wanted to um, just kind of finalize and sum up my experience with this Yupo paper. Um, so this SAA Yupo paper, it's, it seems like it's kind of a knockoff maybe from the regular um, Yupo paper. It's much thinner. Uh, and I can't really see the, oh, I don't know whether 25 is the pound, but it's 85 GSM. Um, it's much thinner than the Yupo paper that I had used before. And so this is the 
original Upo paper that I had. Um, again, very, very detailed cuts, but this is definitely thicker and uh, sturdier than the other Upo paper. Um, this is 74 pound or 200 GSM, so you can see that it's a lot thicker. Um, and it cuts it cuts as easily, I feel like, than the thinner paper. And actually, I like this better. Um, it's less prone to tearing, especially when you're using a new mat. Uh, and super intricate cuts, um, especially on the smaller side. This is actually, um, it's not quite, it's probably about three inches. And I make some that are even like closer to two inches. Um, I just feel like the stronger, thicker Yubo paper seems to hold up a lot better. I just ordered some more from Amazon rather than um, like Dick Blicker where I had ordered it, I'm sure, before. It has the same uh, details and measurements, uh, if I can find them. Yeah, 200 GSM, 74 pound. So I'm assuming it's going to work the same as the original Yubo paper that I had. Um, so anyway, I'm going to probably stick with the thicker rather than the thinner unless I'm doing less detailed cuts. If I'm doing less detailed cuts, this Yupo paper is going to be fine. And then what I do is I use a, a repositionable adhesive on the back um, just so that it sticks to the paper when, especially if I'm doing like sprays through the, the cutouts or the stencils that I'm doing. So anyway, hope that gives you some help if you're experimenting with this yourself. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.